Hey what's up guys welcome to find gap and in today's video I'm going to teach you that how we can create custom 404 page in your WordPress website. So without any delay let's start. So first of all you can see that I have a simple website that is currently on my local host and uh, first of all I will click on plugins and click on install plugins. Here you will see a button add new plugin just click on it and here search for 404 page and press enter from here scroll down and you have to install this plugin smart custom 404 error page and this plugin is developed by Peter and this following name I will click on install now once you will install it click on activate button so now our this plugin is installed successfully now what you have to do you have to click on all pages and click on add a new page and here let me type here 404 find gap page you can choose any name for this and for example here you can design this page with Elementor or some other page builder because I'm just uh, teaching you as an example so I will type here a simple paragraph that uh, this is our simple 404 page of our website so obviously you can add different images different icons this is up to you that how you want to design this page obviously animator would be the best option or would be a nice option to design this custom 404 page next just click on publish and here i will again uh, click on publish and let me click on view page so here you can see that this paragraph represent that this is our custom 404 page so we not have complete yet now we have to again open our dashboard and here inside appearance once you will install this plugin you will see this option 404 error page just click on this and from here you will see different options you can see the first one 404 find gap page this is the page that we have created and uh, we have put some content in it let me select this one and then make sure to click on save changes okay now again let me open our website for example if i type here page exists any random link for example here you can see that currently i have opened uh, this sample page and which id is 2 for example if i type here 45 so because page id 45 did not exist you can see that it is displaying us the default 404 page that we have created obviously because i don't have changed the permalinks so that's why my permalinks are looking like this with page id so friends i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching